Hello, racers. Uh, I hope you're all having a great weekend. It is Saturday, and it still is a Seto Corsa week. And it will be till Monday early night, I would say, when the Assetto Corsa a league race uh, having will conclude. Uh, and for now, road to Platinum, which means we will be doing some career within Assetto Corsa. Uh, I think we will be finalizing a novice series today before moving to intermediate service, uh, series, intermediate. So let's see where we are and what else there is to accomplish. <clears throat> there is a one quick race in Lotus 2.11 and one time attack in the Lotus Evora GTC. So quick race go first, quick race goes first, Lotus 2.11 at Magion. Um, I'm keeping the medium opponent levels and everything as it is. And here we go. So I'm starting from the fifth position, at least I'm not last. Uh, I don't know how many laps there are. I made a mistake of not checking that. It's uh, I need to be second for a tier three. So let's do a quick... I'm taking less fuel. I know what, I'm going to keep 20. If this is 10 laps, I'm going to restart straight away because 20 liters won't be enough for 10 laps. I found out with the exit. Uh, Majun. Not many straights. I'm going to keep the rear high. Yeah, semi slicks. Can I change that? No. I don't like this high pressure values. I go to maybe to 20, no, to 80. Trying to think, Majun. Truck, I'm thinking it is. I will go all the way to 15. Not sure how good semi slicks are. Semi slicks are with keeping the proper tire temperatures, but hard slicks are horrible. So on this truck, if I don't remember. So I'm going to keep it like that. And for now, this is all I'm going to change here. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do a quick save. To what I'm doing. Eleven. Here we go. Safe. Let's drive. Let's see how it goes. Sounds nice. Six laps. That should be enough fuel. I was 
that was super cool. That was uh, that was an example of how to eliminate an opponent, right? Wow, <laughs> that AI is aggressive. Similar start to the previous one. I cannot leave them more space on the outside, it was as close to the apex as I could. Luckily, this time it didn't decide to bump into me. So this car follows the philosophy of brake earlier. Be out of the brake as soon as you start turning. And it behaves much, much better that way. While in Mazda, I can actually trail brake bit more into the sterns. It doesn't understeer as much under braking as, as this Lotus. So that's why the first race was a bit of a disaster because I had to learn that. the lead of my wheel really nice when I'm either keeping that engine in the neutral perhaps not braking not accelerating or when I'm accelerating it doesn't really follow it when I'm braking I'm sure I could work on the setup to correct that a little bit but uh, what's the point for a six lapper I'm already on second place and this is where I need to be for tier 3. Then it doesn't matter if I get the first place or not, of course I want to get the first place. That's the whole point of racing.
generally I have a feeling that this car understeers. Which will be correctable through this setup. So if I ever have to race it in a longer event where actually practicing for a longer period of time and uh, preparing a proper setup and I would definitely try to do it. At least on the semi-slicks, maybe it behaves differently on full slicks. And it was an easy win this time, medium difficulty. I think I could do it also on hard and with the proper setup on hires. Let's wait for the race to finish. some time. All AI cars uh, have to finish for the yeah for the race to be completed. So here we go. Here three achieved. We can quit this one and move to the next one which is that's the last one time attack. As I said Lotus Evora GTC at Imola. That should be easy, easily achievable. It will take some time with the slow laps to start with, faster laps at the end, approach. Um, it's a race car, I'm going to keep the 30 meters of fuel. Um, I won't be changing anything else, I think there's no point for that event at least. Maybe I'll put soft slicks, because why not to... Uh, they probably will get really cold on the first laps and it will be easier to warm them up on the later, later laps. Let's do it. Wait, let's just set up this. Yeah, that should be a bit better. that gearbox sound, I love it.
car is very responsive. I guess the, the steering clock is quite low. So even though my wheel is set to 1080 degrees, the maximum the maximum uh, degree is probably less for this car. I could modify it. Well, my wheel is up to auto for us the Corsa. So it uses whatever whatever developers prepared for that car. But it responds wide quickly to every rhythm of my door. If I now change my profile to perfect cross two where I'm actually hard coded it. 1080. Yeah, it feels completely different now. Now it uses the whole 80 degrees. And the responsiveness is much lower. Going back to my Aspen Corsa profile. That is sudden, straight away. We should be able to do one more lap. We have 
have around six seconds left, but there was one mistake when I was uh, out of the truck. points and that's easy tier three well above two and a half thousand points which were required for this event uh, okay that was the last of the novice uh, seven out of seven completed all seven oh no Five, six, five, seven. So we are moving to Intermediate Series 1. Five events. Those are all single events. No championship. What do we have there? So, a quick race, quick race, quick race, quick race. And a quick race. Claren MP412C at Valunga, a super sports racing club, is organizing enthusiast races around trucks. McLaren Automotive needs an experienced driver of street cars to drive their new McLaren MP412C to the limit and raise awareness on the qualities of this new supercar first race at Vallelunga circuit. Oh, so that's all our McLaren cars and it's all the same McLaren. Good, let's start with quick race. It's uh, the, all the settings are as usual. Let's see how it goes. I'm expecting the first race to be a practice to get used to, to the car and to the truck. I'm always, uh, I always have a quick look at the settings, uh, let's use the fuel, even though the sports car shouldn't need 30 liters to accomplish that, whatever they have for us here. Uh, no, I'll go with semi slicks. <laughs> Pressure, hmm, I don't know, I don't like those high values, it usually means that the tires are not within the good temperature range, so I'm going to reduce it. Yeah, and the rest stays the same. What is the name of this car? MP412, right? I never remember. Something like that, I think. drive it for laps one of the short one I like how it looks like inside it's also a fast car Oh, 
west. But now we're close to overtaking the first guy. Attempt. Okay, 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 okay. I see the difference now between the switched off traction control and... No, that wasn't nice. I'm not going to accept that. I'm going to restart. It's not how I want to win the races. start wasn't as good as the previous one, but it's not about how we start, but how about we finish, right? So, let's try to finish in first. Missed the braking point. Seems like this left hander is my nemesis on this racetrack. And I have to fight for the position again. Or defend it. And looks like I'm losing it. Especially the next one, he has the inside. So it's working to his advantage rather than mine. Let's see who has a better exit. Quite similar, even though I was on the outside. I need to leave him enough space here, but the next one is the right-hander and I'm on the inside, and it's all mine. Good. Let's defend. Try to break late. Good, so I think uh, we establish our dominance at P2. I still want P1. Well, let's try to catch that McLaren. Well, I thought I would be just within. But it looks like I hit that high curve. Now that left hander, which I really hate. I went too deep. I don't seem to be able to find a good braking point. Uh, the, the rear tires are cold in a rear-wheel drive car, which is a bummer. I should be first here in a second. Too many mistakes. Probably should focus more on driving if I want to win this. Because it's not looking too good at the moment. It's uh, almost the end of lap 2 and I'm still second. And the third guy is uh, really close. 50.7, not a great lap. Okay.
fine racing, some nice racing. Let's see if I can get some slips to Accelerating like a rocket. It's got such... So I definitely was earlier on accelerator now than he was. for all to finish so it's actually validated so at the end of the day it was done on the default setup Unfortunately, it's a wait, uh, wait time for all the cars to cross the finish line. Here, free, finished first, and I can quit, and I can move to the next race in that one, which is same car but at Mugello. Second super sports race at Mugello, the Italian truck owned by Ferrari, is one of the most demanding trucks with long and very fast turns going both up and downhill. A McLaren inside Ferrari's circuit alone is quite an emotional challenge. Let's see. Okay, this time I am going to reduce the fuel because that was way, way, way too much. And I am going to change the higher pressures because they were getting cold really quickly. The front, the front maybe it can stay a bit higher. Okay, and that's all I'm going to change. And what's the name of the car? MP412. Let's drive. I love those doors. Can't go wrong with those uh, butterfly doors. I'm going to decide which side to pick 
Ja. Uh, then BMW is going to move to reach to the left, so I went right. I think I can see a red Ferrari there. And I'm on the slab. I still lost. So my fastest lap was enough to match his. Okay, I'm going to do what I did in the previous race. What happened to the car? I don't... I'm giving it the last try for today. It's working. Sorry, mate. But I have to be... Brutal, I wanted to say. But that didn't work. So default setup and traction control is two, that car drives awfully. It is so much nicer to drive at uh, traction control one, but I want to do an experiment and check if driving on default influence difficulty in any way because It really feels like it does, which is which is so strange. Like I've never overtook I have never overtook a Ferrari so early. At the same time, it's so hard to drive that car. With these settings. I have to be so careful with the accelerator. Feels very similar to what it is without traction control, even though the traction control is on the highest possible settings at the moment. I'm afraid to accelerate. Feels like I'm fighting that car. But at the same time, I'm actually catching to the McLaren. This is so strange. but I forget it only updates when I cross the finish line. So default settings, traction control at what it is, what it messaged me at 2, which should be the highest possible settings, and the car should behave really well under the accelerator, but it's, it doesn't, it, it's horrible to drive. It's so much better to drive at the traction control at one, but for some reason I'm smashing that guy in the first place now while I couldn't at my own traction control settings. I don't understand what's going on. What was my time? 2.16. It wasn't my best first lap. But this is the first time I'm at the first place in that race. Jesus, I'm fighting with the car on every single corner. I'm not sure if that message wasn't wrong, like, I think that traction control is actually disabled. I, mean, I know it message traction control 2 of 2. But it doesn't feel like that. It feels like the traction control is off. And I'm trying to keep that car on the truck. I 
And the fact that I don't see TC mark under my uh, gouges on the right, on the right lower corner tells me that yeah, traction control is disabled at default when I reset it to default settings. You know, the, this game behavior is so strange. I'm going to win this without traction control, where I couldn't win it with traction control. But it feels like those uh, settings affect somehow AI. Yeah, so ABS was showing, so ABS is definitely on. That's something actually I don't need. The, with the load so. Time to seven to eight. The time is horrible. I, that's what I was doing when I was starting to learn the truck car combination. You can, well, I can feel it, but I can also see it. I'm sure you can see it as well how twitchy that car is. When I try to accelerate, that's because the TC is off. How powerful that car is, but I can feel every single horsepower under acceleration without traction control, at least in the second and third gear. Glad I achieved it, Victoria, but the 
once in time. I'm not really surprised. I had to disable. Well, I didn't want to. It wasn't my intention to disable traction control, but resetting the setup to default disable traction control. Let's wait for all of them to finish. Let's wait for the results for the race. Uh, let's hope it shows me tier 3 achieved. And that will be it for today. Uh, it was took longer than I expected. They were just, those were just first two races of, uh, of the first uh, I1 I series. Intermediate uh, Series 1, let's call it I1. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely come back to it tomorrow to move it a bit forward towards the end of the career. Here we go tier goal achieved, tier 3, first position. Finally managed to overtake that second McLaren. Right, uh, that will be what's. Is, uh, well, I'm just going to check what awaits us tomorrow, and it the faster chicane. On oh, great, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed as clean as we wanted due to the problems in the second race with the McLaren. Um, and I will see you next time, which will which will probably be tomorrow. And find a league race on Monday. A Mazda MX-5 Cup. Uh, see you all and have a good rest of the Saturday.